To other news now, the first week of the academic year ended in a disastrous fashion for the family of Giovanni Kidd at the Catadupa Primary, which he attended. The six-year-old died after he was washed away by floodwaters. We have more in this report from Dwayne Anderson. These waterlogged books, book bag, and school supplies are signs of the tragedy that struck in Catadupa St. James on Thursday. Residents say six-year-old Giovanni Kidd was in this area when he was washed away by flood waters associated with heavy rains in the parish. The little boy was on his way home from school when he attempted to cross the flooded pathway. If you notice, it looked quite normal now, but when it rains heavily, it tends to overflow, and in the overflow, the excess water now that creates the problem. And as a result of that, sometimes the people can't cross it until, you know, the water is receded. Javon's body was recovered late Thursday evening after a brief search for him. His family is devastated. My daughter called me and told me that they said the river come over. When I heard that the river come over, I said, I start crying that I know that was the end because he's fearless. We know he go through that water thinking he can cross. The family's breakdown. My daughter, them, then doesn't heat from yesterday. Nobody wants to heat, neither me. I don't heat from yesterday. Residents and the member of parliament visited the family in Catadupa to try and offer comfort. It's very unfortunate, um, you know, and it's very sad. And as you have seen, the family is really grieving. So as a member of parliament, you know, and as a parent myself, I'm here to give some support to the family, you know, to see how we can make, how I can make this period, you know, less less traumatic on them. The MP promised that he will ask the technical team from the St. James Municipal Corporation to visit the area and assess the drainage infrastructure to see if improvements can be made, as this is not the first time a resident has been swept away by flood waters in the area. Because what is there now is about a three by four um, channel, right, which under normal rainfall, it is enough to carry the water. But when we have heavy rain and the river, the little river overflow it bank, it's bank, it's gonna come right on the road. And as a result of that, it can create a problem. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.